the third leg of the 4x200 meters freestyle. Only managed fourth last night in the 100 meters freestyle. He's the 09 champion. The defending champion is this man in lane four, Kevin Yap, who has been swimming crazy times in the 400 freestyle this year. Huang Ki Phuoc was the flag bearer at the opening ceremony for Vietnam. Double gold medalist at the last games. He's in five. Sarit Tie Wong. Third in 2009, second in 2011. He hoped that uh, progression Lake continues sir, tonight for the first placing in this Tana event. Kati Here's the dark horse, Tanakrit Katia of Thailand, who's been doing a lot of his training in Lake Japan eight. and has got the third best time Singapore. in Southeast Asia this year. And it's a welcome return for Tuo Jun Ren, who's endured difficult times with shoulder injuries and enlisting into the national service at the start of the year to actually come back strong for the Southeast Asian Games. Lanes three and four, the ones to watch, and probably the challenge coming in from lanes six and seven. It's Malaysia versus Thailand. They will probably be the ones to go into the medal zone. But Peng Sheng Jun will look out for his uh, personal best time, 3.59.32. He'll be hoping to make up for the disappointment of missing out in the 200 meters individual medley final last night. Swimmers are all getting prepped up. Uh, of course, Daniel Bago has still been uh, struggling a little bit with his shoulder injury, especially after he failed to meet the uh, Olympic Invitational time at the uh, Southeast Asian Swim Championships last year. So we'll see if uh, you know any of that shoulder injury shows in uh, this performance here for the men's 400 meter freestyle. It's unfortunate that he yet to miss the last games in Palembang. He's been swimming since 2003. Bago, just 24 years of age. He was fourth in this event in 2003. In fact, like a lot of young swimmers in Southeast Asia, they've used the Southeast Asian Games in the longer distance events before progressing through into the sprints as they get older. Uh, Daniel Bigger also is the current record holder for the games. Uh, 3 minutes 53.99 seconds is what he has set the time and we'll see if any of these swimmers can uh, match it, come close to it or perhaps even shatter it today. I'll tell you how good the Malaysians are. They're so good that Vernon Lee, who actually won the ASEAN schools and Southeast Asian age group championships, can't get into the squad. That's how well they've dominated this event. They've won this event on eight occasions, more than any other country. Singapore have only won it twice. Only two winners, Lionel Ku in 2005 and Ku Teng Chuan. So just two gold medalists for Singapore in this event. They'll do well enough to get into the medals with Sheng Jun and Chen Ren in lanes two and eight respectively. I'm actually quite interested Mark to see how uh, Huang Ki Fok of course from Vietnam in lane 5 will be uh, pushing for this event. I'm not sure if he'll push actually 100% because he's competing later on in the 100 meter butterfly for which he is the defending champion and the record holder as well. And that's his pet event. That's the event that got him started in swimming. Well, Ki Fok, just to let you know, in September won 9 gold medals in the Vietnamese swimming championships. No Vietnamese medalist in this event. He might break that drought this time out. A lot of it is due to the starters making sure that the buzzer is working okay. There will be no malfunctions tonight. We've already had two on the opening and the second day of competition. The crowd getting a bit impatient. And I think uh, a lot of them are going through the crowd as well just to educate them a little bit at the start and to keep themselves as quiet as possible. Uh, Tilton Ren also in lane 8. Uh, he actually very recently set the 1,500 meter freestyle national record at the 2015 FINA Swimming uh, World Cup. And uh, he actually says that he loves the unique silence when he gets underwater. Absolutely right. Uh, he'll be actually looking forward to his event yesterday, tomorrow I should say. That's his pet event, the 1,500 meters freestyle. And you can see a couple of the swimmers already. Chen Ren just putting on his overcoat as well as Tanakrit and Daniel Bago making sure they keep themselves as warm as possible. This is not good for the swimmers, especially for Kevin Yap who's got Bago's SEA Games record to aim for 353.99. We've got seven events tonight, including two long distance ones. There we go. Back with the for the swimmers. An interesting fact for you, Mark. Have you ever realized when you look at the uh, swimmer's body, it doesn't look like it looks in a magazine, it's not all ripped. And the reason for that, of course, is uh, the time they spent training in the water uh, actually acclimatizes the body to build an extra layer of, of fat. It's called swimmer's fat.
swimmers at this point keeping themselves as Evo warm as they possibly can before they hit the waters for the men's 400 meter freestyle. Butterfly. She did forget to mention the final event of the night, which is the men's 400 meters freestyle relay. We're keeping our own count here. Singapore have got 12 more medals of any color. 12 more medals, and they'll reach 200 medals in the 21st century in swimming. That's a phenomenal achievement, although they'll be a little disappointed, Team SG, with what they've done compared to Palembang, where they won 17 gold medals, 9 silvers, and 13 bronzes. We're all set and ready to go, finally. This is the men's 400 meters freestyle final. Take your marks. Pham Tan Nguyen, fourth in 2011, representing Vietnam. He's in lane number one. Pang Sheng Jun of Singapore, fifth in this event in 2011, is in lane two. Daniel Bago, the 2009 champion, SEA Games record holder, is in three. Kevin Yap of Malaysia, the defending champion, the Pearl of Perak. He's in lane number four. Huang Ki Phuoc of Vietnam, double gold medalist at the last games, is in five. Saret Thie Wong of Thailand, second in 2011, is in lane number six. Turning first is Bago, followed by Saret Wong, Huang of Vietnam in close attendance and Kevin Yap usually kicks into gear in the second half of this race. Tana Krit Katia of Thailand is in lane number seven and Teo Chen Ren of Singapore in lane number eight. Still Bago holding a slight lead against Kevin Yap. The two of them were pushing each other right to the finish line when it came to the uh, Malaysian Nationals earlier this year. In fact, Kevin Yap actually set a new national record at the Malaysian Nationals, 3.53.26. That is the fastest time in Southeast Asia this year. He might not be the fastest in Southeast Asia in this event at the SEA Games though because Daniel Bago is hoping to turn the tables around. This will be a welcome return to Bago who's already won 10 gold medals in his SEA Games career and this is after forfeiting the 2011 Southeast Asian Games. Half a body length lead ahead of Sare Thie Wong. The Thais had a wonderful night last night with four gold medals. So Sare Thie Wong, remember he's got bronze in 09. Silver at the last games, hoping for that little step up. Saritia Wong, in fact, it's Katia has taken over from Saritia Wong into third position. Huang of Vietnam, not his pet event, remember, but swimming very well at the moment. A double gold medalist, already a silver medalist at these games when he was second last night in the 100 meters freestyle to that crazy swim by Fauzi Triadi. Heading to the halfway mark of this race, still Bago ahead, and this is where usually it's money time for Kevin Yup because he steps on the propellers and steps on all gears and he he turns into the final 200 meters of this race. Just 0.23 seconds separating first and second. And Yap is back into medal contention now. He is in third place at the moment. A good swim in lane number eight from Chiu Jun Ren to keep up with the race and with a chance for a medal right here, getting himself right into the mix. Still Daniel Bago slightly ahead, half a body length of Huang Ki Phuoc of Vietnam and Kevin Yap of Malaysia in third position, just slightly ahead of Sari Thie Wong and Tanakrit Katia of Thailand. Bago building on his lead, just a, a second ahead now of Huang and Kevin Yap almost three seconds behind Bago. Daniel Bago, fourth in 2003, first in 2009. Had to miss the last games because he had to go for those operations and correct his shoulders. Getting back into very good form, only fourth last night in the 100 meters freestyle, but he won a silver medal in the third leg swimmer in the 4x200, and that's when we knew he was in very good form heading into these games. Saret Thie Wong has taken over Kevin Yap, the hot favorite, into third place at the moment. Kevin Yap has a lot to do now to catch up with his compatriot. Daniel Bago with a body length lead ahead of Huang Ki Fok, who looks to be tiring out. I think he's gone a little too quickly. He might do well enough to hold on to this silver position. Heading into the final 50 meters, Bago has extended his lead against Huang Ki Fok. Ki Fok's a fast finisher. He's trying to save himself up for this, but I think he might have gassed himself out. 1.39 seconds, the difference between first and second. Sarit Thie Wong has taken over the favorite Kevin Yup into third position. Thio Chen Ren still in the mix, still in the middle of the race in lane number eight. But it's Daniel Bago who's finishing strong. Bago has led from wall to wall, start to finish. 3.53.99 is his SEA Games record. Can he break it right now? I don't think so, but he will win a gold medal on his return to the SEA Games. Daniel Bago. 
the feel-good story of these games. Katia, I did say he was the dark horse in this race. He does come in in the bronze medal position, but the 24-year-old from Malaysia is finally back on the winner's rostrum with a perfect swim in the 400 meters freestyle, ensuring that the gold medal is kept in Malaysia for the ninth time. That was absolutely fantastic, of course, for Daniel Bagel. We thought perhaps his shoulder injury might affect his swim, but it showed no signs at all. A bit disappointing, of course, from Kevin Ya, who uh, was first in the 56 Malaysian Open in 2013 and first in the Southeast Asian Swim Championships in 2012, but did not manage to convert this time around. But really, really good job, good swim as well from Daniel Bagel of Malaysia. The two Singapore swimmers taking up the final two positions in the race, but it's good work from Tio Chen Ren, who's clocked a personal best time 4 minutes 01.44 seconds lowering his personal best by 0.36 seconds Daniel Bago and Huang Ki Fok who went out very quickly but can't keep pace with the Sarawak submarine who just bombed on and on we thought that Key Fork had caught up with him. But Bago just had that extra power stamina for the final few meters that was definitely a good race and hopefully we'll see an even better one coming up for the women's 100 meter backstroke of course the record holder for this race is Tao Li there you can see in lane number four she will be the uh, defending champion hoping to hold down to her title as well but we've got the likes of Nguyen Tian Vien who will be swimming very closely behind in lane number five and we've all seen how well she's performed over the last couple of uh, races here in the SEA Games representing Nurul Khaja Fitriati of Indonesia, second at the Southeast Asian Age Group and ASEAN Schools Games, swims in one. Natanan Jungkrajang, she's already won 25 medals in the SEA Games, 14 of them gold, including two last night. First ever swim in the 100 meters backstroke, she's in two. Parita Damrongrat of Thailand is in lane three. Thailand haven't won a gold since 2003. Here is the SEA Games record holder. Tao Li swimming in lane number four. One more goal to win five in a row in this event, but she'll be hard pushed against Nguyen Tian Vien, who's clocked the fastest time in Southeast Asia this year. Megan Lim was fifth in this event in 2011. Bronze already in two events on the first day of competition. She's in six. Yesi Yosaputra, the national record holder. Second in the 200 meters backstroke, she's in lane number seven. And Myanmar, the 14-year-old Tiri Nanda, just the second Myanmarese to qualify for a final, an individual final at these games. Good to see her in the field. It looks as if this race mark will be down between Tao Li and Noyen Hian Vien, of course, uh, who does seem to have a bit of a height advantage and an arm span advantage as well. Uh, she stands at 1.17 meters, of course, towering over Tao Li. And uh, she's got two goals so far in the 200 meter individual medley and the 200 meter back. Be quiet at the start of the event. Please be quiet at the start of the event. Thank you. Well, we're also looking at two of the most bemedaled winners of the SEA Games in this event. Tao Li has got 24 SEA Games medals, 21 of them goals, including one already in these games in the 4x200 meters freestyle on the first day. Nathanan Jungkrajang, two goals at these games, both won last night. She's got 25 medals, 14 of them gold. She's in two, Tao Li's in four. Two legends and a young upstart who looks all set and ready to take over the mantle in lane number five. will be between Tao Li and Nguyen Tian Vien, the only two to go below 1 minute 05 in Southeast Asia in 2013. Tian Vien's the only one to have gone below 1 minute 03 and she starts very quickly. So too does Tao Li in lane number four. Brilliant start by Tao Li. Closing up on her is Nathanan Jungkrajang swimming in a very uh, first 100 meters backstroke in the Southeast Asian Games. She is currently in second spot, but Tian Vien, the 200 meters backstroke the winner, is a very video. quick and powerful oh, finisher. Not. Tao Li turns first, 0.75 seconds ahead of Nguyen Tian Vien. Jungkrajang's in third spot at the moment. Tao Li's got to hold on to this lead right now because this is where Nguyen Tian Vien usually does her business, coming home strong. Tao 
Ali still in front. The Singapore legend is just streaking away right now. One of two events that she's swimming in tonight. This will be five in a row for her if she wins in this event. Tian Vien closing the gap. Look at that. It's now just half a body length. Her reach going faster and faster. Has she put it a little too late though? Tao Li with a few meters left. Tao Li's going to win this one. Singapore have won the gold medal. Tao Li yet again. The gold medalist in the Southeast Asian Games. Her 22nd gold medal. And Tao Li has done it. One minute. 2.47 seconds not a new sea games record not a new national record but more importantly she's upstage where and tian vien who was all set and ready to do the deed on her in these sea games not so in the 100 meters backstroke tao li turns around and says one more year my girl one more year jung krajang's done well enough to win a bronze medal which is her 26th medal at these sea games but what a, sw a swim that is five in a row now that's the most one by an individual in this event she was tied with Chon Laton Valatomrong of Thailand and Akiko Thompson with four in a row before this swim and here she is five in a row the most won by an individual ever in the sea games in the hundred meters backstroke her name is Tao Li and whenever you mention that name in sea games it usually is associated with the words goal medal that was a uh, very, very interesting race. Of course, we were hanging on to the skin of our teeth. And uh, we all expected Tao Li to win, but what a finish as well by Nguyen Tian Vien. If she had it another five meters, I think she would have taken over Tao Li. But not this year, not this event, not for the women's 100 meter backstroke. For the 100 meters back for men are already out. We'll come back with that event in a while. Ladies and gentlemen, now we are going to celebrate the victory ceremony for event number 301, men's 400 meter freestyle. Thank you. Welcome back to the Winner Take the Stadium. Of course, uh, the swimming pool, the setting for the 27th Sea Games here in Myanmar in Nepido. We are just about to go to our men's 100 meter backstroke event, but not before we have the victory ceremony for the men's 400 meter freestyle. And uh, what a race that was as well. It was super, super exciting as well. Daniel Bago held on to his lead. We thought his shoulder injury might affect him, but no, he proved us all wrong and clinched onto the goal. Well, there have been no repeat winners in the men's 400 meters freestyle since 1997 when Tolap Setsoton repeated as a gold medalist and that was the case again as Kevin Yup finished outside of the medals disappointingly. He was hot favorites going into it with his 2326 was just the fastest in Southeast Asia this year. Daniel Bago couldn't come close to his season's best of 354.01 couldn't lower his sea games record but it's a welcome return to the fall and the big time for the super sarawakian he swam it in the best possible way leading from start to finish and he knew that as long as he baited huang ki fok ki fok much more of a middle distance not middle distance but a short distance swimmer that ki fok would lose some gas going into the final 100 and that was the case plotted that brilliantly, Daniel Bago. Of course, uh, Kifok also will be competing later on in the 100 meters butterfly with uh, our very own Joseph Schooling. But Kifok is the defending champion and the record holder for that one. So it's going to be quite an exciting race to watch. But we're waiting right now for our champions to take their positions on the podium. Once again, Daniel Bago, uh, Huang Kifok as well in second place. Well, in case you've just joined us and missed Tao Li's race, I can tell you that she defended her title by beating Nguyen Tian Vien of Vietnam. Tao Li winning 
quite superbly in that race. We looked at her lineup of events for the Sea Games and thought, okay, the 100 meters backstroke might be the only one where she will be challenged and she might lose her title in that because Tiang Bien has been winning the Asian Youth Games, Southeast Asian Age Group Championships. Almost every meet in Southeast Asia, Tiang Bien has been taking since the last Sea Games. But Tauli's proven that you can't buy the experience and the power and the will that she has inside of her. When it comes to mental strength, she is right up there with the best of them. And she proved yet again, making sure that her powerful start was maintained in the last 50 meters despite a late charge from the Vietnamese to clinch Singapore's first gold medal of the night. And that puts us up to five goals in the 2013 games now. It edges us ahead of Thailand as well, who won four, all four of them coming last night in what was a windfall for the Thais. Just to give you a bit of a rundown of some of the events that will be happening later on as well. We're down with 2-5 to go. Men's 100 meter backstroke will be coming up next. Women's 100 meter butterfly will see Tao Li there again. Of course, uh, the men's 100 meter butterfly, Kipok, will be there. Fauzi Triadi, who was uh, absolutely phenomenal yesterday. He did uh, very well with a goal in the 100 meter freestyle. Uh, he will be in that race as well, followed by the women's 800 meter freestyle and to end it off for tonight, the men's 4x100 meter freestyle. Style relay. It's an understatement, isn't it, <laughs> Vivian? He did quite well, Fauzi Triani. Phenomenally well, phenomenally well. <laughs> he was absolutely superb. He smashed first Southeast Asian to go below 50 seconds in the 100 meters freestyle. Okay, let's have a look at that Tao Li race in case you missed out on it earlier on. And uh, she was, of course, uh, swimming in lane number four, the fastest qualifier with Nguyen Tian Vien of Vietnam side by side with her in lane number five. Divian? Uh, of course, you can see uh, Tao Li holding on to her position and her pace, but uh, Nguyen Tian Vien playing catch up, of course, very closely behind holding steady of course as we know through the race she pushed forward right at the very end but it was all a little bit too late you can see Tao Li powering on as she of course uh, makes a very very quick turn she comes in first Tian Bien of course moving up to catch up with her Nathanan Jukrajang as well holding steady at the bronze position the bronze medal but Tao Li look at that amazing amazing woman she just plows through the race and this is of course the point where Noyen uh, Tian Bien catches up and she tries to of course turn on the gas but it is not enough. Tao Li holds on to that position, that gap that she maintained earlier on and she touches the wall first of course just in front of Noyen Tian Bien. You know, I was just looking at that race earlier on, Divian, and the form that Tao Li showed was just absolutely first class. Uh, even when her challenger came in close on her, she did not panic. She kept her hands close to the body like a good backstroke specialist would do. She kept it close to the body, made sure that she is as water resistant as possible. That's angled from the hips. It was great. And, you know, the, the, the top half of her body was on the surface of the water throughout that race. It certainly was, Mark, and uh, I think that race was won by experience even more than talent. Here we go with the medal presentation. And uh, this, by the way, will be Malaysia's first gold medal of these games in swimming. Tanakrit Kitia, who's been training in Japan and slated to swim in tomorrow's 1500 meters freestyle as well. His first Sea Games ends with a bronze medal. Huang Ki Fuok wins his second silver of these games following from his 100 meters freestyle last night. And Daniel Bego missed out on the medals in the 100 meters freestyle, won a silver in the 4x200. Welcome back, Daniel. A tap on those shoulders, don't hurt it. <laughs> because he's gone through a lot, those operations, the times, those dark days where Daniel thought he might have to end his swimming career at a very young age. The answer though is a big no. And, and here is now the in your face moment into his shoulder operations. A gold medal in the 400 meters freestyle. <laughs>
Welcome back to the Winner Take League Stadium. Of course, the setting for the 27th Sea Games here in Naypyidaw, Myanmar. And uh, we're hopefully just about getting ready for the men's 100 meter backstroke. And uh, it is Debbie and I and Mark Richmond with you, taking you through the night. We still have five events to go. And uh, this event, of course, will feature our very own Reina Ng, who was the star of the 2010 Youth Olympic Games. And uh, we'll see how he performs in this one as well. Record holder for the men's 100 meter backstroke, E. Gade from Indonesia. And let's not forget Kwarteng Wen, who actually scratched himself off the 400 meters freestyle to give himself a chance for a goal in this event. He is the national record holder, 56.60, which he set at the Singapore National Swimming Championships in June. Well, it's good to see Reyna back. We thought that he'd missed these games, but he's actually finished his course quickly enough at Bingham Young University in the USA to make it back in time and compete at these games. He was a silver medalist in 2009 in this event. It's an event that Singapore doesn't really have a habit of winning. Their last gold medal, Zach Ong in 2007, actually broke a 14-year barren spell. Uh, Reina Ng, of course, will be competing later on in the 100 meters butterfly as well in about two events time. We also have uh, Ricky Angawajaya as well, 17 years old from Indonesia. Uh, already won a goal for the 200 meters back. He came in second for the ASEAN School Games in 2013 as well and won two silvers in the last SEA Games in the 5K and 10K Marathon Swim Championships in the uh, open water category. There is the start list and the aforementioned Angawijaya hoping to complete a double in the backstroke at these games with a win here tonight. Something that his compatriot swimming in lane 5, Eager Day Sibatawa, did so at the last game. Here is Angawijaya. Let's throw in the extra accomplishment of first at the Asian Youth Games this year. 58-42, his season's best time. Reina Ng. All those injuries, freak injuries that he suffered, all will put behind him now. YOG silver medalist in the 50 meters backstroke in 2010. Chen Tian Han of Malaysia from Johor, who was fifth in the 200 meters backstroke and sixth in this event in 2011, is in three. Kasipat Chokra Tan of Thailand is in lane number four. He was sixth in the 200 meters backstroke the other night. And here is the fastest swimmer in this event in Southeast Asia. E. Gade Siman Sudatawa, 55-55 is his best time this year, which he clocked at the World Championships. Parton Wen will be glad that he's side by side with Sudatawa to see what his main rival is going to do in this. He goes in lane six. Chan Dui Khoi of Vietnam, fourth at the Asian Youth Games, second in the 200 meters individual medley. He's in seven, and the first male finalist in an individual event for Myanmar, Ong Myo U, goes in lane number eight. Since the last Sea Games, only one swimmer has kept breaking the 56-second barrier, and he is in lane number five. His coach, Albert Sutanto, says there's no way that anyone in this event can stop the Bali Barnstormer. We will see. First in 2011, he was already second in the 200 meters backstroke on the first night of competition. Ladies and gentlemen, please be quiet at the start of the event. He was first in the Hong Kong Open as well, 55.82 seconds. So the Bali Barnstormer and Kwa Teng Wen probably the two to beat in this event, but I don't see anyone who will come close to Sudatawa. Uh, over in lane two as well, we have Reina Ng, who usually has a bit of a uh, pre-swim routine, but uh, I think this time there isn't time for that as well. They're all getting ready off the starting blocks, and they're ready to go. Take your mark. Angawijaya led from start to finish in the 200 meters backstroke to win the gold medal. He's in one, Reina's in two, Tianhan of Malaysia in three, Chokratin of Thailand in four, Sudatawa of Indonesia in five, Tung Wen of Singapore in six, Dui Khoi of Vietnam in seven, and Myo U of Myanmar. Closing up the field in lane number eight. It's a very good start by Sudatawa as we'd expected, and Kwa Tung Wen side by side with him. It's Sudatawa just slightly ahead of the Singaporean at the moment with Kasipa Chokratin of Thailand in third spot. Sudatawa will turn in first place. Tung Wen in second. Anga Wijaya in lane number one just crept up just in front of Chokratin to take third position. No one stopping E. Gade Sudatawa at the moment. Is there? No, there's Kwa Tung Wen. Look at him catching up on this. He's had a day's rest yesterday after competing and winning two gold medals on the first day of 
competition. Kwa Teng Wen is coming on strong. This is a magnificent swim from Kwa Teng Wen to keep up with Sudatawa, but he's left himself a little too late now because Sudatawa is going to touch first and retain his gold medal title for Indonesia. Kwa Teng Wen just 0.31 seconds behind, 55.80 seconds. It's not a new SEA Games record, but once again, Sudatawa goes below the 56 second mark. Kwa Teng Wen, I do believe, has broken the national record with that swim. So he finishes in second spot. Magnificent swim. Actually, absolutely impressive from Kwa Teng Wen to keep up with Sudatawa and give him a race in the final 50 meters. But the Indonesian was way too strong. 56 1 1. That's a new national record by Kwa Teng Wen. Absolutely amazing. What a race. Ricky Anga with Jaya as well, doing very, very well. Reina Ng, maybe a bit too long off the pool with 57.64. But Iga Day holds supreme, reigns supreme at 55.8. Uh, just a little bit shy, of course, of the SEA Games record, which stands at 55.59 seconds. E. Gede Sudatawa, born in Klung Klung in Bali. He's been swimming since six years old, and then the coaches noticed him, and last year he made the move to Rio to be coached by Albert Sutanto, just to improve on his starts and get a measure of consistency in his strokes. And that he has done. He, of course, uh, was the winner for all the backstroke events in the last SEA Games as well. Coming up very shortly, you can see on the screen, women's 100-meter butterfly and uh, the return of Tauli. Well, Tauli as well from Singapore will be racing in this one. Tauli has already said before she calls time in her career, she wants to take down her national record of 57.54 seconds, which she set at the 2008 Olympic Games. That time, of course, which got her in the final. Still the only Singaporean to have qualified for a final event in the Olympic Games in swimming. We'll also see Jasmine Alcalde in lane six from the Philippines. The scorn of Jasmine one. Alcalde having her gold Indonesia. medal, of course, uh, taken away from her. And uh, a bronze in replacement. The last Indonesian goal was in 1997. Lane Catherine two. Surya, who still holds the national Thailand. record. Super Suta Sumpon Chot of Thailand. First in the Southeast Asian Age Group Championships, she lane is in lane three. two. Wen T. Kim Twin of Vietnam, Vietnam. third in this event the last time out. So she's in three. Lane the other Nguyen couldn't take out Tao Li in the 100 back. Can she do it? Quating Wen, already a goal and two silvers at these games. She is lane in lane five. number four in her first swim in this Singapore. event of the SEA Games. The Tao of fly swimming in Southeast lane Asia six. is in lane five. Jasmine Alcaldi, who broke her national record at the World Championships, 101.71. She's in six. Yep, Siu Hui, the 15-year-old from Malaysia in lane number seven. Third at the Asian Youth Games. And Ressa Dewi of Indonesia. One minute 03.33 is her season's best time. The 100 meters butterfly for women, flanked by two Indonesians. And the two hot favorites, the Singaporeans, in four and five. The best times in 2013, Tao Li, 58.94. That's also the 10th fastest in Asia. Kwa Ting Wen is the second fastest in Southeast Asia, 59.92. And Alcaldi, the third fastest in Southeast Asia this year. All they go by the form book now. Three months turned out. Unfortunate and thankfully as well, no one took the plunge into the pool. A lot of it's got to do with the noise generated from the crowd. I think Jasmine Alcalde is particularly attentive uh, at this point. Of course, she doesn't want to repeat of what happened uh, in the earlier race, of course, that she had, where the uh, alarm, of course, had a bit of a malfunction, the, the trigger for the start. But in lane number seven as well, you might want to keep your eyes on Yap Su Hui, who is actually a bit of a butterfly princess. Well, Tao Li was the only Southeast Asian to qualify for the semi-finals in this event. Take your marks. She's had no equal in Southeast Asia already for the last three editions. A win to match Juni Sung and Jocelyn Yeo in this 
Sea Games with four in a row. Got off to a flyer, as they say, in the butterfly stroke. Tao Li just slightly ahead of Kwa Ting Wen. This might be Singapore's first 1-2 finish of the 2013 Southeast Asian Games. Jasmine Alkali making sure that she at least sees the toes of Tao Li for the first 50 meters before they make the turn. Well, they almost turn side by side. Nothing separating Tao Li and Kwa Ting Wen with Su Tan Chuan of Thailand in third pot at the moment, just ahead of Jasmine Alkali. Tao Li just slightly ahead of Ting Wen. Tao Li may be a little exerted after a swim in the 100 meters backstroke where she was pushed all the way to the finish line by Nguyen Tian Vien. This time the other Nguyen from Vietnam is nowhere close to the two Singaporeans who are in first and second at the moment. 58-84 is the SEA Games record. 57-54 is the Singapore national record. Tao Li slightly ahead. She's not going to break the national record. She just dips below the minute mark. And Kwa Ting Wen finishes once again in second spot. Her third silver medal of these games. But Tao Li winning two two events and those events didn't come too far apart did they so there we go she is hammered out now already she's tired out after that swim in the 100 meters backstroke but still the gold medal is kept absolutely fantastic Kali <laughs> was very very happy with this one what, what a swim as well from Jasmine Alkali who uh, clocked in of course one minute 176 to come in for a bronze medal and uh, that was very well done I think it was quite ironic that there was a fly on the screen for the fly event Mark Alcaldi, of course, uh, the bronze medalist, and it has certainly gone by the form book. Those three have clocked the uh, three quickest times in Southeast Asia this year. And Tao Li, half a body length ahead of Kwa Ting Wen, is finishing ahead. But uh, what it has done as well with Kwa Ting Wen actually winning a silver in this, it's that it's given Singapore a very interesting factor now to take note of in the 4 by 100 meters medley relay because it does mean that uh, Tao Li can swim in the backstroke, Ting Wen can swim in the butterfly event. They never had that luxury before, but now they do. Tao Li can swim in the backstroke, Ting Wen in the butterfly. My goodness, those mighty mermaids will be hard to stop in the 4x100 meters medley. Talking about one of your mighty mermaids, Kwa Ting Wen as well. She's broken 14 national records, of course. Uh, and uh, in a bit of an interview that I watched earlier on, she actually said that she trains twice a day, every day. So much so that she has no time for a boyfriend, Mark. Okay. I'll tell you what, we did some win some medals today in shooting. So while we wait for the next event to start and Joseph schooling to take his plunge into the pool on the third day of competition, let's have a look at how team shooting did for Team Singapore. So the top eight have now been whittled down to the last three. We're at the North Dragon shooting range. And of course, Tio Sun Xie is performing for Singapore against Gwen Min Tian from Vietnam and Li Ti Huang Gok. Concentration levels really need to be on the mark here. That's not a bad shot from Lee. Gwen hits an eight. It's a ten for Lee. Right oh. nailed in the middle. Just on the line there from Tio. Settle for that. 8.9 it's been classified as. An 8.5 there for Gwen. Lee Tian. Huang Gok really needs to shoot well here if she is to stay in the competition. So it's the second shot. Well, that's very close from Gwen. No question about that. Lee has strayed a little bit. It needs to be good from Tio. It is. It's a good score from her. So that means that Ti Huang got... He will drop out with 174.8 at the moment, but it is still Tio Sun Xie just trailing Gwen Min Tian with two more shots to go. 2.4 points separate both of these shooters, which is why it is going to be vitally important for Tio to make sure that she can hit as close to the 10 as possible. Two shots between her and Golden Glory. Gwen is in the driving seat, though it does have to be said. That's wayward from Gwen. That's equally as bad there from Tio. That's a shame. 
That goes down as an 8.9 for Til Sonsier. It's an 8.5 for Gwen Min Chow. So, unless it's absolutely nailed on in the middle wow. from Tio, and Gwen has a real, real bad shot, it looks as though it will be silver for Tio Sonsier. Well, she's now that. That can't get much closer to the middle, so it's down to Gwen. What can she do? It's an eight. It's just enough to win. She's going to win by a solitary point. Congratulations. That is how close it is. So it's Gwen Mintan that wins gold. It's Tio Sun Sia that wins the silver. Lee Tia Hang Gok wins the bronze. Wonderful performance from Tio. And she'll also participate in the 25 metre sport pistol as well. She picks up a silver for Singapore at the shooting range. But the glory goes to Vietnam. And France medal winner. Well, we're definitely pleased with that silver medal, of course, from a shooting and uh, really well done. But we're back, of course, to the victory ceremony right now, the Winnipeg the swimming pool uh, for the 27th SEA Games here in Myanmar. It's a women's 100 meter backstroke victory ceremony. And uh, of course, that one will go to Tao Li. But it was the closest race that we've seen today, of course, with Nguyen Tian Vien, I think about 0.2 seconds away from her. It is absolutely right, Divian, 0.29 seconds, the difference between first and second. We need to give a big shout out to Megan Lim, who finished just outside of the medals. 105.22 is her personal best time, she's clocked, so two of our swimmers, despite not winning medals, clocking personal best times already. Tio Chen Run in the 400 meters freestyle, and Megan Lim in this event, the 100 meters backstroke. We'll have some trouble now taking Tao Li. Someone's got to be escorting her and making sure that she comes in time to receive this medal unless she's going to give it to a teammate. But how about this from Tao Li now? We're talking about 26 SEA Games medal, 23 of them goals. That is insane. Absolutely insane. But uh, of course, Moyen Dian Vien is well, uh, raising a lot of interest with uh, the performances that she's put up so far of course in the sea games very very well done in fact uh we're going to go back all the way to the start for when she learned how to swim mark did you know that her grandfather actually taught her how to swim because he was afraid that she was actually going to drown in the deep channel in front of her house so it was like a giant long gang. and that's where it all started for moen tian bien that is in the province of chan to in vietnam sure she credits a lot of it to her granddad and he'd be very proud of her four medal achievement at these games so far well before the start of this event Tao Li had never ever lost a race in the sea games in the women's 100 meters backstroke and at the end of it she still hasn't the Tao dynasty started in 2005 it was Singapore's first goal in this event since 1973 when Patricia Chan won. And from then on, no one's come close to her until the emergence of Nguyen Tian Vien. Close, but not close enough. Nathanan Jukrajang as well, the freestyle specialist, did uh, very well in this event. She got a goal yesterday for the 100 meter freestyle race and uh, also in the 4x100 freestyle relay that beat, uh, beat Singapore yesterday. We talk about Tao Li winning all those medals. Uh, Tao Li's got 26 SEA Games medals after winning the 100 meters butterfly and after her silver medal in this event, Nathanan Junkrajang is also now at 26 medals. 26 medals for Natanan, 14 of them gold. Okay, let's have a look at Tao Li's second race. Not this one, but the one that just finished the 100 meters butterfly. This one, she started as hot favorite and Kwa Ting Huen, her closest challenger. In fact, Tao Li and Ting Huen had the two fastest times in Southeast Asia coming into this. Exactly, and you can see, of course, Tao Li holding on to that lead. Kwa Ting Huen very closely behind and uh, Tao Li absolutely dominates in this event. It is one of our pet, pet events as well. For Kwa Ting Wen, she was very, very good in holding the pace and holding steady right beside Tao Li. Jasmine Alcaldi as well uh, played a bit of catch up here in the second lap, of course, coming back to finish. Uh, but Tao Li powered through. Very, very 
strong, of course, Kwatin Wen tried her best to catch up as well. Jasmine Alcaldi turned on the power, but it was not enough as Tao Li maintained that lead with absolute dominance for her second goal today at uh, the Wuna Take Deep swimming pool. And there you see, of course, Tao Li half a body length in front as she touches with a goal. Not in the usual form that he shows in the 100 butterfly, slightly tired after her race in the 100 meters backstroke. She usually takes a breath after every other stroke, but we saw then at almost every stroke she was coming out for air. It just goes to show that she was slightly tired and exhausted. And the reason was because she just won in this race where she's going to receive the gold medal. 100 meters backstroke. And she might as well just station herself there at the number one position <laughs> to receive the 100 meters butterfly right after this. Well, she might have to make her way or step down for Joseph Schooling, uh, who is coming up, of course, to the men's 100-meter butterfly, the next event that we're going to witness and what an event that's going to turn out to be. Because uh, Joseph Schooling, the pride of Singapore, holds the second fastest time in U.S.'s all-time top 100 for his age group uh, when it comes, of course, to the 100-meter butterfly, second only to Michael Phelps. Uh, Joseph's time was 52.33. Phelps was at 51.10 and uh, Joseph Schooling also targeting a historic medal in the 2016 Olympics in Brazil. Well, he was a shoe-in for the 200 meters individual medley last night, probably a shoe-in for the 200 meters butterfly as well. But if there's an iffy, it probably will be in that race because his challenges very quick. Fong Ki Fok, the defending champion. Let's not forget Glenn Victor Sutanto, his nemesis through the years. So Joseph will have a lot to do. He's got to be in very good form going into that event. He himself admitted yesterday, last night in an interview on today at the Games, didn't he, that he wasn't probably in the best shape. Exactly, he definitely did. Another one uh, that we need to watch out for, of course, will be in lane five later on. Uh, Jesse Lacuna from the Philippines, one of the best swimmers actually from the Philippines, who holds a total of 51 gold medals, 35 at national, 16 at international titles, of course, just like the SEA Games. I think they have gotten a hold of Tao Li and alongside Nguyen Tian Vien and Nutanan Jungkrajang of Thailand will be up to receive their medals now for the women's 100 meters backstroke. Two more events to go before we finish this day's competition. Three more events, I should say. The 100 fly. We've also got the 800 meters freestyle for women. Lynette Lim swims in that one, renewing her rivalry with Ku Chai Lin. They both went very low in 2009, with Chai Lin winning the goal and Lynette the silver medal. Lynette missed the last Sea Games, which meant that Chai Lin continued her dominance in that event. Uh, she only won a silver in that event with Nathanan Junkrajang winning gold in the 800 freestyle in 2011. It's, despite it being a long race, it should be interesting between the Singaporean and Malaysian with Ben Japon Srifamonton of Thailand, who has shown herself to be in good form and condition already at these games, probably giving them a very good fight, and maybe there might be an upset on the cards. We end with the 4 by 100 meters freestyle, and Singapore will look to continue their dominance in that event but uh, it will be hard okay we're up uh, to that race again while we wait for the 100 meters backstroke this in case you missed out of course said that uh, this might be the event where Tao Li's crown will be usurped by Nguyen Tian Vien but Tao Li got off to a very good start and she just kept and maintained it so we look at her form there there we go hands very close to the body Divian, you could see better from your side than I can. I think uh, that's absolutely right. You see, of course, uh, Tali making a very quick turn, and this was definitely the tightest race that we've had all uh, afternoon, of course, but Tali pulling away. Uh, and at this point, of course, Noi and Tian Bien tried very, very hard to catch up, uh, but it wasn't enough, and Tali pulled through to win the gold.
Here we go, just slightly, just ever so slightly dipping into the water, but uh, she kept her upper body very high up to the surface of the water. Kicks were very consistent, loosening of the ankles, making sure that the toes are pointed in the other direction, and just pulling and pulling away. Just slight loss of form in the final five meters, but it didn't matter by then because she had already won the goal with that start of hers and the first 50, which was royal. And here, of course, we'll have our champions taking their positions respectively on the podium. Here, the winner take the swimming pool, of course, for the 27th Sea Games. It has happened the last couple of nights if you're just watching swimming action for the very first time and wondering what the delay is all about. Whenever one of the medalists had just finished an event in the pool, they found it very hard to grab a hold of the competitor through the doping system, push out from the other side. They've already changed the entrances to the victory ceremony podium. They actually did it on the right of your picture into the center on the first day of competition. They tried it the other way around, but still found it very hard to get to the winners to be up on the podium straight away. So the crowd getting a little bit impatient there, of course, uh, but they will be in for a bit of a treat in just a few minutes as well for the men's 100 meter butterfly. One of the most exciting events I think that we'll have today as well. Joseph schooling all eyes on him most of us of course expecting him to take it away but let's not forget that Huang Ki Fok of course from Vietnam the uh, defending champion and the record holder as well will be a very very difficult opponent along with uh, the likes of Jesse Lacuna and Glenn Victor Sutando we just past the halfway mark of the halfway stage of swimming competition in the 2013 SEA Games. And Singapore currently are at six gold medals, three silvers and seven bronze medals from swimming alone at these games. And just a bit we'll see the return of Reina Ng as well, who... Uh was just shut out of uh, medal contention early on. But he will be returning. You can uh, watch out for him in lane two. He, of course, uh, was fifth for the Southeast Asian Swimming Championships in 2012 for the men's 100 meter butterfly. Eight more medals we have to go before we reach 200 medals since the turn of the century. And in case you're keeping count just like us, we've got four more gold medals to go before we reach 200 gold medals since 1973 in swimming. That is an amazing stat and achievement for Team Singapore in swimming. Okay, they're trying their very hardest to get there. Finally, the swimmers are out. But uh, we will go for a break while the swimmers come out and hopefully we'll be back in time to hear the national anthem. Welcome back to the Wuna Take the Swimming Pool, of course. We're currently awaiting the victory ceremony for the women's 100 meter backstroke for which Pao Li, of course, uh, took gold just by the skin of her teeth, of course. And uh, Moyan Tian Vien, very close 
Silva to that one. But let's give you a bit of a recap of what else is happening with Team Singapore in the medal tally today. We've got a bronze actually in the event of shooting 10 meter air pistol from the women's team. So uh, big congratulations to our athletes Tae Siu Hong, Tae Siu Yi and Kyo Shun Si as well. We also have a silver in the 10 meter air pistol women's shooting event uh, from Kyo Shun Si and a gold uh, of course from Tao Li in the 100 meters back. Let's not forget the 100 meters fly as well. Tao Li, two goals already tonight. Becoming the third double gold medalist from swimming. Hwa Tseng Wen was the first on the first night when he won in the 400 meters individual medley and then the 4x200 meters freestyle relay. Schooling was the second double gold medalist. He won in the 4x200 meters freestyle relay and also the 200 meters individual medley last night. And now Tao Li with this victory in the 100 meters backstroke and the 4x200 meters relay becoming the third double gold medalist and the first triple gold medalist of this games for Team Singapore in swimming by winning in the 100 fly right after that. Well, what the delay has done as well, unfortunately, is that uh, a lot of the audience members, as you can see at the pool there, it's sparse in the audience. And they actually have much more people at the start of the races and then they lose their patience and also with a home crowd having a football match on against Thailand tonight and it's not doing them any favors at all uh, two people you'll definitely not see of course in the audience of course or the spectators booth will be Tao Li's parents apparently uh, she used to be embarrassed when uh, her parents would uh, show up for her events especially one time a long time ago when she was still very young of course she uh, lost out in the podium positions and her parents were there and since then her parents have actually made it a bit of a habit to uh, you know not attend her events so that she would be a lot more comfortable but she has of course since uh, said that she's outgrown that but the, her parents of course have uh, just kept it a bit of a habit Okay, the men's event of the backstroke took place earlier as well. We didn't have a gold medal in this, but Kwa Tseng Wen did superbly well to match his sister's silver that she won in the 100 butterfly by keeping pace with Gede Sudatawa. In case you're interested, Gede Sudatawa was in lane number 5 and Tseng Wen was in lane number 6. Absolutely, of course, uh, but Gede, uh, you know, all the hype surrounding him, of course, had proven to be true. He was the record holder, still is the record holder, with 55.59 seconds in the 2011 games. And he clearly led from start to finish, even after that amazing, amazing turn. But Kwa Tseng Wen, uh, fantastic. He broke his uh, national record, of course, which stood at 56.60. And uh, he is definitely, definitely pleased with that race. But look at Gade go, of course, as he pulls through, powers through all the way past the last 15 meters, touches the wall with ease. Well, we're here at the broadcast center. We're not actually at poolside, but uh, I just heard uh, through the magic of technology that there is a protest against Tao Li in the 100 meters backstroke. So they might have to disqualify her in the 100 meters backstroke. That's the reason why there's a delay in this victory ceremony. There's a protest against Tao Li, and they're trying to get her stripped off her medal for the 100 backstroke. I don't know what it is for. Didn't see anything wrong with that swim. Perhaps the extra dolphin kicks at the start, but I don't think there's anything wrong in it at all whatsoever. And if there was a false start at the start of it all, it would have been called back immediately. A bit of controversy and drama happening right here, of course, at the Wanna Take the Stadium. The setting for the 27th Sea Games. And uh, of course, us and the rest of Singapore is oh, hoping, but let's take a bit of a look at the race again, shall we, Mark? With Singapore winning, I know you're not going to sit here seeing this. There we go, she took off okay. And let's see if she got up just in time at the flag. Oh, maybe that was what the protest was all about, because she had to surface right where the flags were. We can't see from that overhead shot whether she surfaced on the water just in time with the flags. Maybe that was the reason why the protest uh, came through 
because they thought that she stayed too long underwater. That's the only reason I can see from this because everything else was legal right up to this point. The turn was legal as well. But she surfaced too late from here again. We can't really see from that angle and that shot. But uh, the only thing wrong that we've seen so far in this race is uh, Tauli perhaps surfacing after the 25 meter mark. Right after, of course, uh, Taolu finishes the race. Let's go uh, quickly back to the start to see if we can pinpoint the part where she surfaces. And she won it against Tian Jian, who might have thought that if Taoli surfaced earlier, she would have won it. Let's have a look at this. There we go. There we go. It's in slow-mo. Well, we can't really tell from that angle. It's so hard, isn't it? She was the last to surface amongst all the swimmers. That's for sure. But did it come after 25 meters? Uh, if they're going to have a look at the TV pictures again, I'm sure the judges and the technical officials will have uh, no clue from those pictures whether she surfaced after the flags. It's uh, the coach of Nguyen Tian Bien is protesting. And it's exactly what we spotted there. That's their protesting she surfaced after the 25 meter mark. But as I said, if they're going to have a look at those pictures again, I don't know what kind of pictures they got there, but if you're going to have the same look at the pictures as uh, we had a look, it's going to be so very difficult to tell whether she surfaced after those flags. And I tell you what, it'll take some time before the protestations are heard and the officials view those tapes again and again. And Tauli will have a nervous few moments to wait. But uh, while Tauli has a few nervous moments, I'm sure we'll share in her anxieties. Because we too will try to keep ourselves abreast with whatever has been happening at uh, the Huna Tegdi pool to see what has been happening over there. And we will give you those news in a very short while. Meantime, we'll go for a short break and be back with some juicy news for you, if we have any. We're here, of course, uh, back at the Wuna Take the Swimming Pool, and you have, of course, our winners in front of us. Uh, it appears as if the Vietnamese protest did not go through, and you can see it very clearly on Nguyen Tian Vien's face. She's not very pleased, of course. 
Well, Chauli is there, but do not rejoice yet, Singapore, because we've already seen a victory ceremony for the 100 meters freestyle, and then they took it away from Jasmine Alcali. So I don't know whether the protest has gone through or it's gone on deaf ears. Uh, I'm not going to speculate just yet, but for the moment, for the moment, we will hear the Majula Singapura national anthem because Tauli is there, still receiving it. Apparently, according to the Vietnamese coach, it's not through the TV pictures because, as I said earlier on, if we look at our TV pictures, we see absolutely nothing from that angle. You cannot tell whether Tauli surfaced a little too late, but he's. It seems that he's got a picture of it on his photograph. He's taken a picture of it, and he has asked for it to be reviewed. So I don't know whether that's gone through yet or whether that has been rejected. Nathanan Jungkra Jang though definitely will win the bronze medal. She'll be amongst the medalists. Whether it's bronze or silver, we still don't know yet. For the moment, it's silver. Nguyen Tian Vien, Vien, hoping that the process of a coach will go right through. At the moment, it's a silver medal and her second silver medal of these games. But once again, the queen of the backstroke in Southeast Asia is Tao Li. Her 22nd gold medal and five in a row in this event. The most by an individual in the women's 100 meters backstroke. Her second gold medal of the 2013 SEA Games. Hopefully, she keeps this one. Medals awarded by Chef de Mission, Annabelle Pennyfada, and uh, Chris Chan, of course, the Secretary General of the Singapore National Olympic Committee, will now be taking their photographs with Tao Li, and hopefully this one will be a lasting impression. You're right, Divian, we've already had that controversy of the... It is controversy right here. I've exactly. never seen a Sea Games before where there's just so much controversy in swimming. We've had that controversy in the 100 meters freestyle where they shouldn't have given up the medals if they knew they were going to have a re-swim. Now this one, I certainly hope that they're not going to have that medal ceremony. I hope that the protest has already been rejected and that's the reason why they have the medal ceremony. And they're not going to take it away from Tauli again because it's not right to have the medal ceremony and then do another one later on with different set of winners on the roster. Well, let's hope uh, that these, of course, are the last of uh, the glitches happening here at the 27th Sea Games for swimming right here at the Wanna Take the Swimming Pool. Uh, but we have our winners clearing the podium and uh, we're looking to see if there will be the men's 100 meter backstroke uh, award ceremony as well. Well, we do feel sorry as well for the organizing committee from uh, Myanmar. Try as hard as they can. I don't think they expected it. Malfunction of the start buzzer on the first two nights. And tonight, just when it seems everything's okay, except for a bit of noise cascading down the audience at the starting polls, we had that protest from Vietnam. There's another Singaporean on the roster now, and that'll be Kwa Teng Wen receiving his third medal of these games in the 100 meters backstroke.
definitely uh, no controversy here for this one. A definite silver, of course, for our very own Kwa Tung Wen. And uh, an equal silver as well for his sister Kwa Ting Wen. We have to throw it in as well. That's Kwa Ting Wen won the silver. Of course, for the in one national meter. record time. National record time for Kwa Ting Wen. There we have, of course, our three champions for men's 100 meter backstroke. And uh, Iga Day won that one with absolute ease. He is the defending and reigning champion for this event. The shouts of Iga Day coming through from the Indonesian supporters. They keep the gold medal in their grasp. Today keeps his gold medal in the, his grasp. And Ricky Angawijaya, who won the goal in the 200 meters backstroke, settles for bronze this time out. Not the same one to finish in the 200 back as it was in the 100. And it was all because of uh, Singapore's Kwa Tung Wen. The new national record, by the way, is 56.11 seconds, finishing just 0.31 seconds behind E. Gede Sudatawa, who yet again goes below 56 seconds. So that's the omen the for the rest of Southeast Asia. The caveat is there from today. If you want to challenge me, you first got to go sub 56. Angawi Jaya, great games that he's had so far. His second bronze medal. After achieving one in the 4 by 200 meters freestyle on the first night, to go along with the gold medal. Also three medals for Parting Wen, two goals on the first night, and a silver here. You can hear, of course, big cheers from the crowd for the defending and reigning champion for the men's 100 meter breast backstroke, actually. And we'll hear the national anthem of Indonesia. from Indonesia enjoying Thank you. the absolutely spectacular win and of course posing with uh, Kwa Tung Wen, our very own as well as Ricky Anga Wijaya also from Indonesia future looks very bright for Kwa Tung Wen and he'll have another rest day tomorrow before he swims again in the final day of competition he's slated for the 200 meters of freestyle as well as the 4x100m medley relay where he will most likely be the first swimmer to go off 
in the backstroke leg. Exactly. Uh, possibly making way right now for the men's 100 meter butterfly. And uh, that will surely be a very exciting event featuring the likes of Joseph Schooling. I remember the last edition's finish, it was a superb finish, only 0.11 seconds uh, separating first from third. In fact, uh, Joseph Schooling lost out on the silver medal by 0.01 seconds to Glenn Victor Sutanto. The top three in the 2011 finals all swam below 54 seconds. The last SEA Games before that, only Daniel Bago swam below 54 seconds. So that was how fast they went at the last games. And I tell you what, uh, they've got to be very quick as well in order to catch up with schooling on this one. You have fierce competition from Huang Ki Fuok and Glenn Victor Sutanto who finished 1-2 in 2011. Quickest times in 2013 this year in the 100 meters of butterfly. Joseph Schooling, 52.38 seconds. The first Southeast Asian to dip below 53 seconds in this race. He clocked that at the Arena Grand Prix in Charlotte. Then comes Glenn Victor Sutanto, the second fastest in Southeast Asia this year at 53.63 seconds. And he won the Singapore National Swimming Championships in 53.66 seconds. One of nine gold medals that he won at the Vietnamese Championships. Those are the three fastest times this year. And those three names would probably be the ones that we look out for in the men's 100 meters butterfly. See what Mataka Pong of Thailand. The Thais have never won in this event. Their last Play medal was in 1995. Rainer Ung swims Thai in his second Rainer event of the night and uh, trying to add this to his competition repertoire. The 100 Play meters three. butterfly. Suparit Panna Ratana of Thailand. Thailand. First in the Southeast Asian Age Group Championships. Third in the AYG is in lane three. Play Drooling on schooling continues in the 100 fly in lane four lane where he's five. hot favorite. Representing Third in this event in 2011. Jesse, Jesse Lacuna, the Bulacan Bullet, returns 20 lane next six. week. Ten goals recently at the National Games. He's in five. The defending champion is in lane number six, Huang Ki Fuok. Already a silver medalist tonight in the 400 meters freestyle. Glenn Victor Sutanto swimming into form. And he won the Southeast Asian Ladies Swimming Championships last year over Keith Fork. Finally, Fauzi Triadi. What a swim last night. This is not his pet event, the freestyle more so. But he swims in lane number eight, having lowered the SEA Games record and being the first Southeast Asian to go below 50 seconds last night. There is the SEA Games record with Joseph Schooling says he is gunning for. He has already had two gold medals and two SEA Games records in the first couple of days of competition. And here he is with the 4x100 meters freestyle to swim a little later on, hoping to upstage his rivals and make sure that the bronze medal in 2011 is a distant memory. Golo Joe, the message from all of Singapore as he takes to the blocks of the 100 meters butterfly. He is in lane number four, the fastest qualifier from the heat, and he's gotten off to a very, very good start once again, making sure that he gets a propulsion from his dolphin kicks and making sure that he gets maximum efficiency from underwater. And he is already half a body length ahead of his nearest rival, which is Suparit of Thailand. Joseph Schooling has already made sure that he makes certain of his endurance in those events and he's trained up on making his leads count. Spousy <laughs> Triadi of Indonesia returns just 0.18 of a second ahead of Joseph Schooling who needs to turn up the gears right now. Joseph Schooling, head in perfect position. Here he comes now. Joseph Schooling over Fauzi Triadi is trying to give him a race in this event. We didn't see that coming from lane number eight. Joseph Schooling, if he looks to his right, will see that he's not that far away from him, but he is slightly ahead of Fauzi Triadi. He is gunning for that SEA Games record. Joseph Schooling just slightly ahead of Fauzi Triadi. Joseph Schooling will touch home first for Singapore. 52.67 seconds. That is a new SEA Games record. It doesn't lower his national record, but he was ahead 
shoulders, knees and toes ahead of Fauzi Triadi who finished in second spot. Brilliant swim by the Indonesian but no one's come close yet to Joseph Schooling. The Singapore Serpent has done it all over again. 18 years of age, a new SEA Games record, three gold medals, three SEA Games records. That was crazy, absolutely insane. Of course, Fauzi Triadi, who would have expected edging out, of course, Glenn well, Victor Sutanto and uh, Huang Ki Fok as well from Vietnam to clinch or steal, I should say, of course, the silver medal. Joseph Schooling, uh, as we expected, has done very, very well. Turned up, of course, to the heat in the last 50 meters to uh, just speed through the course. Half a body length in front of uh, Fauzi Triadi, who's leading, of course, all the way until the first turn. Congratulations! And Joseph Schooling. I tell you what, in the first 50 meters, uh, he expected the challenge to come from his closest rivals, Key Fork and Sutanto. What he didn't know was that uh, that it came from outside, the outside lane, lane number eight, Fauzi Triadi with a splintering race, just like it was in the 100 meters freestyle last night. He went by the first 50 very quickly to turn in first place, and Joseph Schooling, a turn of his, uh, that's uh, the reason why he does all those meets in the USA, the short course meet is especially because you practice so much on your turns. His streamline underwater was absolutely superb. And then the form that he showed after that, the kicks, a reason why he's got the extra bulk, the extra muscles, his upper body work, A-class, the pivots from the hips right through, but the upper body work, A-class, head stayed still throughout the whole race, especially underwater. And then there was no chance for Fauzi Triadi in the last 25 meters. Truth be told, he did give Joseph a race in the first 50, but the Where's endurance the level the mean that mean Joseph that has improved upon wait. since the last SEA Games has been top-notch, absolutely phenomenal. We're moving on, of course, to the women's 800-meter freestyle uh, timed final, or the second time final for this one, of course, which features uh, our very own Lynette Lim, who is the Lane record holder for this event. And uh, her time stands at 8 minutes, 35.41 seconds. She also holds a Singapore's record, and uh, she's competed in the 2012 and 2008 Olympics. Indonesia. Well, what we missed out on is Rachel Lane Singh being introduced. And she was in lane number one. She is from Singapore. Raina Sami of Indonesia is in lane number two. In Japan, Sri Fanonton, who was fourth in this event in 2011, and perhaps will give a race to Ku Chai Lin and Lynette Lim. She's in three. Ku Chai Lin. Lane number four, the hot favorite in this event. Disappointing last night in the 400 meters freestyle, where she finished fifth. Her challenge should come from Lynette Lim, who was leading at the halfway stage of the 400 freestyle last night, but lost out to a bronze medal position. Patrawadi Katia of Thailand is in lane number six. The 19 year old is sixth in this event in 2009. Disappointing. After a protest was not heard in the 100 meters backstroke, Nguyen Tian Bien returns in lane 7 and Leti Mi Tao was 8th in the 100 meters freestyle, 5th in this event in 2011. She swims in lane number 8. The best times of 2013 so far, Ku Chai Lin, 8.50.47. Nguyen Tian Bien was next best at 8.51.70. And the third fastest in Southeast Asia this year belongs to Lynette Lim at 8.53.74. It's going to be a long race, of course, 16 laps in, to in total for the women's 800 meter timed final for freestyle. And we're kicking off. Take your mark. Once again, the lane assignments, Rachel Singh of Singapore, who achieved a personal best in the 400 meters freestyle, looking to lower her 906.17 personal best, was fourth in the 400 freestyle last night. She's in one. Reina Saumi of Indonesia, eighth in this event in 2009. She is in lane number two, looking for Indonesia's first win since 2005. Ben Japon, Sri Fanonton, sixth at the Asian Championships, is in lane number three and probably turning first just ahead of Nguyen Tian Vien and Lynette Lim, who is in third spot at the moment. Ku Chai Lin is in lane number four, gold medalist in this event in 2007 and 2011. And Lynette Lim was first in this event in 2009. 
starts in lane number five. She's the SEA Games record holder. Patrawadi Katia, the 19-year-old, is in lane number six. The last Thai win in this event was in 2003. Pailin Tachakitiranan won the gold medal then. Tian Vien slowly creeping up and probably turning in first place while well, they almost turned together. In fact, it's the net net just 0.03 seconds ahead of Nguyen Tian Vien and Sri Phamonthan who led after 50 meters currently in third spot. Still in the race though is Ku Chai Lin and lane number four has crept up into fourth position but just 0.26 seconds separating the first four at the moment. All almost in a straight line. Nguyen Tian Vien won this event at the ASEAN schools and the Southeast Asian Age Group Championships. She finished a second, although she was fast tiring by then. It was amazing in the Southeast Asian Age Group Championships because Nguyen Tian Vien swam a total of 13 events and won 10 gold medals in that. And here she is just reaching out slightly ahead of her rivals now, but the four of them are close by. Sri Phanonton, Chai Lin, Lynette and Tian Vien. There is Sri Phanonton now just being relegated to fourth spot with Tian Vien slightly ahead of the net in lane number five and Chai Lin in lane four will probably turn in second spot after this. No, it's still the net holding a 0.01 second lead over Chai Lin and Sri Phanonton back in front again. So they're exchanging positions. Just a little bit of the jostling before the final push in the final few meters. We've gone 200 out of the 800 in this freestyle event. The record is 8 minutes 35.41 seconds set by Lynette Lim. We haven't had a back-to-back -back winner since 1997. Ravi Inkhorn Udon won her third in her three in a row. Only three times have they gone below eight minutes, 50 seconds in the SEA Games. Hu Chai Lin did it twice in 07 and 09. Lynette Lim, of course, the other in 09 with her 8.35.41 timing. And it will be Lynette Lim who is slightly ahead of Chai Lin at the moment in lane five. The two of them will be going stroke for stroke and making sure that they're not too far away from each other. But Sri Phamantong is coming on very strong at the moment and she looks very comfortable. Still the four of them. How close has this been? They turn together. Tian Vien, Lynette and Sri Phanonton. And profiting from the turn actually is Ku Chai Lin. Who's now gone slightly ahead. Side by side with Sri Phanonton and Tian Vien, the outside lane. Lynette Lim just half a body length behind those four at the moment. Rachel Singh of Singapore in lane number one is doing well enough at the moment to maintain her position in fifth spot, just slightly ahead of Patrawadi Katia. It will be Sri Phanonton just ahead of Moyen and Ku Chai Lin. Lynette Lim making sure that she keeps up with the race. Very important to keep up with Ku Chai Lin as we reach the halfway stage of the 400 meters freestyle final. Ku uh, Lin, of course, uh, competed in the Southeast Asian Swimming Championships along with uh, Si Phanantam. And uh, Chai Lin took a gold while uh, Ben Japon, of course, from Thailand, Si Phanantam took a bronze in that competition. But as we move on, of course, turning first at 400 meters is Moyen Tian Vien. Thailand in a close second, of course. Ku Chai Lin holding on to third. It's a huge difference between the loping strokes of Nguyen Tian Vien and Ku Chai Lin who's got the fastest strokes. Ku Chai Lin going at 89 strokes per minute. Nguyen Tian Vien going at 74 strokes per minute. And Sri Phan Wonton keeping up with Chai Lin as far as the fast strokes are concerned. She's going at about 83 strokes per minute. Lynette Lim is not too far out of the race just yet. She was leading at the halfway mark of the 400 meters freestyle last night and then were gassed out in the final 200 to allow her rivals to creep up on her and win that race. I think she wants to save a little bit in the tank for the final sprint in this event. Nguyen Thi An Vien looking for her third gold medal of these games. Still the four of them go at each other, just half a body length separating 
Ku, Strika Monton and Nguyen Tian Vien throughout this race. This might go down as one of the closest ever finishes in the 800 meters freestyle in SEA Games history. Net Lim matching Nguyen Tian Vien's loping strokes. Going at about 72 strokes per minute. Ku Chai Lin with those faster strokes and coming home. She is the record holder from the 400 on to the 1500 in Malaysia. Just like it says Lynette is. And now she is slowly pulling away from her rivals. There's some separation now. Ku Chai Lin half a body length ahead of Tian Vien who is in second spot and Ben Japon. Lynette Lim is now three body lengths behind Malaysian lady Ku Chai Lin. Oh, and the NBN, of course, in lane number seven, uh, definitely not letting uh, Ku Chai Lin out of her sights as well as she catches up. In fact, she is just a little bit ahead of uh, Sif Sifra Nonton from Thailand. And the, she does, of course. That's the biggest lead that we've had so far. A second ahead of Tian Vien. Sri from Wonton in third spot. Lynette Lim trailing behind now. She needs a strong finish here. Lynette Lim. In the final 200 meters, final 150 after this turn, Ku Chai Lin, now a body length ahead of Tian Vien and Sri Phananton. She's judged this perfectly, not like she did in the 400 meters freestyle where she felt after that so that she could have a lot to go. But still, because of the early, she, she left herself a little too late to catch up. Ku Chai Lin. A minute, a second now, a body length ahead of Tian Vien in second spot. Lynette Lim, where has she gone to? She was side by side, and she's there you go, right at the bottom of her picture, trying to creep right back into the race, but with a final 100 to go, this might be mission impossible for Lynette to even get into the medals. The 2009 champion with a lot to do against the defending champion, Hu Chai Lin. Tian Vien has just trimmed the deficit by 0.01 seconds and she is a very, very strong finisher as we've seen throughout these games in the individual medley and the 200 meters backstroke on the first day and earlier on in the 100 meters backstroke where she gave Tao Li a fight in the final 25 meters. One of the closest 800 meters freestyle races that we've seen in SEA Games history. Ku Chai Lin though still keeping a body length lead ahead of Sri Phanantan and Nguyen Tian Vien. Lynette Lim will have to settle outside of the medals this time. Ku Chai Lin, 1.25 seconds ahead of Sri Phamonton, who's now crept into second spot. And Tian Vien needs a big, strong 50 now. She's improved as far as her leg kicking powers are concerned, especially Sri Phamonton. Look at her, the splashes behind her tell you that she's just increased now. She's used a lot of the upper body strength work in the early part of this race, but now she's using the lower body strength to creep up with Ku Chai Lin. This is a very strong finish from the Thai girl, creeping up with Ku Chai Lin now. Will the Malaysian be upstage? Ku Chai Lin has led so much of the race, it's just touched home in first place 0 0.10 seconds i did tell you this is going to be the closest finish ever in sea games history in the women's 800 meters freestyle and they have proven me right ku chai lin a winner at 8 minutes 49.51 seconds she's gone below 850 again in the sea games for the third time but more importantly ben japon sri Fomonton has become only the third swimmer to go below 8 minutes 50 seconds in the sea games with that very close finish what a finish to the 800 meters freestyle race well we certainly didn't expect then mark of course to be the tightest race that we've had uh, but we're going to go for a quick commercial break of course we're, before we return for the last event which is the men's four by 100 meter freestyle relay so you have to join us for that one it's Demi Nye and Mark Richmond with you
We have returned, of course, to the Wunatik, the swimming pool, the setting for the 27th SEA Games here in Naypyidaw, of course, in Myanmar. And uh, we're just about to present the women's 100-meter butterfly medals, of course, for the victory ceremony. And uh, no controversy there, as there was in the women's 100-meter backstroke. This one, it was absolutely clear that Tao Lee had taken it away, of course, Parting win, of course, came in for a silver, and Jasmine Alcaldi did very well, of course, for a bronze. A very, very good swim to finish off. We're looking forward to having enough time to uh, show you what happens, of course, at the uh, last event of the night that we will have as well, the men's 4 by 100 meter freestyle relay. But just in case we don't, you can uh, catch up with all the results at tonight at the Games, which is uh, going to be on Channel 5 at 11 p.m., for which uh, Mark and myself, of course, will be presenting and uh, hopefully giving you a bit of a recap as well of the day's medal tap. Our medalists of the night making their way, of course, to the rostrum. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to celebrate the victory ceremony for Evans 304, Women's 100 Meter Butterfly. The gold medalist representing Singapore, Tao Li. The silver medalist representing Singapore, Ting Wong Hui. The bronze medalist representing Philippines, Jasmine Alcardi. The medals are going to be awarded by Madam Annabelle, Chef de Mission from Singapore. Tali, of course, uh, the, the record holder for this event in the 2009 Games with a time of 59.24 seconds. But here we have, of course, Jasmine Alcaldi, very pleased with the bronze. The silver medalist representing uh, A bit of Singapore, trivia, actually, on Jasmine Alcaldi. She actually has a uh, Saudi Arabian dad, and she became very, very popular in Saudi Arabia when she competed in the 2012 Summer Olympics. The gold medalist very representing Singapore. Howley, of course, Congratulations. with her second gold of the night and a third gold in total and gentlemen, please rise for the national for the anthem of Singapore. Games. to have two Singaporeans on the rostrum of course taking gold and silver for the Please women's 100 it. meter butterfly. Thank you. And for Tali it's a huge achievement not just with the number of gold medals she's won in the SEA Games but uh, also the legacy the dynasty that she's laid behind in the 100 back and the 100 meters fly this win matches the four in a row achieved by Juni Sung and Jocelyn Yeo in this event.
23 gold medals now for Tauli with a chance to make it 25 by the end of the games she's competing in the 200 meters butterfly as well as the 4x100 meters medley relay and good to see Kwating Wen winning a silver in this event as I said it gives Singapore a lot of options in the 4x100 meters medley relay uh, and of course she's joined by her brother as well Kwating Wen who also took away a silver they are, of course, uh, in this game doing very well indeed. Okay, we've got the men's 100 meters butterfly ceremony coming up. And uh, it was won by Joseph Schooling. This was how he did it. Uh, of course, uh, Joseph Schooling went off very, very quickly, of course, but not quite as quick as Fauzi Triadi, who we did not expect to come out on top. Of course, we were expecting uh, Kwang Ki Fok as well as uh, Jesse Lacuna and Glenn Victor Suanto from Indonesia to give him a bit of a run for his money. But look at that. In the first 50, Fauzi Triadi actually makes it for the turn first with Joseph Schooling coming closely behind. But after the turn, Joseph turned on the gas and it was over from then on out as he just gradually increased the lead from Fauzi Triadi. And uh, he pulled on home strong as well. And uh, Fauzi Triadi tried his very best to catch up along with uh, Victor Suanto, Sutanto as well from Indonesia. But Joseph Schooling, there you go. A new SEA Games record. And I wish we had more shots underwater because the work that he did underwater, Joseph Schooling, was absolutely superb. He doesn't dip too low, ensures that his head stays as close to the surface as possible. And then high up to catch that breath. Good swim this was from Fauzi. What is not his pet event, but he looks to be in very good form for these games. Exactly, and uh, there we have it, our gold Singapore, medalist, Joseph, Joseph Schooling. Schooling. And this is probably why he's... Uh, the gold medalist has met a new record for Saudi Somebody, of course, is uh, taking his place to receive the Joseph gold medal Lee, on Lee, his Lee, behalf, Lee. of course. But Joseph Please Schooling... Rise for the national anthem of Singapore. Joseph Schooling, who is getting ready for the 4x100 meters freestyle relay. We're really pushing for time here, so we hope we can complete the 4x100 meters freestyle relay. We might not have time to have the victory ceremonies for the women's 800 meters freestyle and the 4x100 meters freestyle relay for men after that. But this is the race where Singapore have dominated since the turn of the century. Only Singapore and Indonesia have won the 4x100 meters freestyle for men. Singapore, though, will be hard-pressed by the Malaysians who've got a talented pool of freestyle swimmers. And they've got Joseph Schooling, who's just exerted himself in the 100 meters butterfly and was pushed all the way by 
Fauzi Triadi. He's, of course, uh, targeting a uh, historic medal in the 2016 Olympics in Brazil that will take uh, quite a bit of training as well as the uh, SEA Games that will be held in Singapore in 2015 as well. And uh, he actually uh, applied for a bit of a deferment from the army and he's actually become the only Singaporean ever to be granted uh, three years of undisturbed training away from the army, deferred from NS as well. But his mom has made it very clear that she has never pushed for swimming as a substitute for uh, NS and says that he will have to eventually serve like every other Singaporean male after he's done with uh, his three, three years of training in preparation, of course, for the 2016 Olympics. Singapore have never lost in this event in the 21st century. This victory will be seven in a row for them. The 2011 team was Clement Lim, Russell, Aaron and Danny Yo. I don't have the full lineup of the swimmers yet and full confirmation yet. Actually, I do. Clement is still in the squad. So too is Danny. Darren Lim is there, having finished the seventh yesterday, and Joseph Schooling, who here is going to be the last leg swimmer. The Malaysians have got Lim Chin Huang, Wilson Sim, Vernon Lee, and Daniel Bagel. Lane two, representing Singapore, Yang Claimant Lim, Hai Kwan Daniel, Fang Yu Darren Lim, Joseph There we have, of course, the single team in lane two. Uh, the record was set by Joshua Lim, Lane Clement Lim, three. Russell Long and Jeffrey Su. Uh, and that record stands at 3 Chi minutes 23.22 seconds. We've got the Malaysian team over here, Daniel Vago as well. Vernon in this team with Vernon Lee, Wilson Sim, Ching Huang Lim as well. All present give Singapore a bit of a run for their Cambodia. gold. Hong Kong Leo Hem. And Cambodia Red of course. Also in the men's 4x100 meter freestyle Henry relay. Fauzi Triadi, of course, coming back for this race with his teammates as well as Glenn Victor Sutanto, both of them medalists today. Lane six, representing Myanmar. Big cheers from the crowd. Home ground, of course, for our Myanmar swimmers. We'll be pulling strong, of course, in lane six. And finally, Thailand in lane seven. Sarit Tia Wong, of course. Shao Wan Fo Don. Sarit Thank you. The meet record, 3.23.22. Just Danny Yo remaining in the squad here in Myanmar. Ladies and gentlemen, please be quiet at the start of the event. Please be quiet at the start of the event. Thank you. Singapore have got three swimmers who have gone below the 51 second mark. Malaysia have got two of them. The Indonesians, of course, have got Fauzi Triadi who have gone below the 50 second mark. And it'll be Fauzi Triadi trying to give Indonesia the perfect start to this event against Clement Lim and Lim Ching Huang of Singapore and Malaysia, respectively. Singapore are in lane two. Take your marks. Clement Lim with his first event of these games, making sure that well, he's not tired, he's got all the strength inside of him, making sure he keeps pace with Fauzi Triadi at least, and has a good enough lead against Lim Ching Huang of Malaysia, who finished eighth in the 100 meters freestyle the other night. Clement Lim, half a body length ahead of Lim Ching Huang and keeping pace with Fauzi Triadi. You might be a little tired after going full blast in the 100 meters butterfly just not too long ago against Joseph Schooling. It will be Fauzi Triadi turning in second spot just behind Singapore and Thailand in third place at the moment. The Thais have got Versa Fasata who swam in the 100 meters freestyle the other night too. But it is Clement Lim. This is a tremendous swim by Clement Lim in the 100 meters freestyle first leg. 4 by 100 meters freestyle first leg. He'll hand it over to Danny Yo who finished third in the 100 meters this freestyle just last night Clement Lim will touch home in first place against the SEA Games champion mind you and this is a very quick time as well 50.68 seconds just outside of the national record the Malaysians have got Walton Sim who is a long distance swimmer 
in the pool against Danny Yeo, who looked in very good form in the 4x200m freestyle just two nights ago on the opening night of competition, and he was bronze medalist in the 100 freestyle. Danny Yeo, 50.51 seconds, the national record holder. He will turn in first place, just ahead of the Indonesians, who've got Alexis Omar, who just missed out in qualifying for the 100 meters freestyle final last night. He's in second spot, and then the Malaysians, Walson Sim, perhaps the weakest of their four swimmers in the pool at the moment. Vernon Lee goes next for the Malaysians, and we've got Darren Lim, who was seventh in the 4 by 100 in the 100 meters freestyle last night, going as the third leg swimmer for Singapore. This is a very good leg that they've taken against the Indonesians as Darren Lim goes into the pool. Indonesia now 1.16 seconds behind, a body length and a half, and Malaysians trailing behind with Vernon Lee, fresh uh, swimming in his very first event, Darren Lim who's clocked crazy times and will be looking forward to the 50 meters freestyle tomorrow night where he'll try to rewrite Ang Peng Xiong's national record very quick in the early part of the race and making sure that he maintains that in the final 50 meters but this is a very good lead against the Malaysians it should be good enough for Singapore if Darren Lim maintains this lead to hand it over to Joseph Schooling will it be another SEA Games record for Joe Schooling at the start of this race, they were saying that the Malaysians have got a talented pool, but Kevin Yups decided to scratch from this event, and because of that, they had one swimmer shorts, and Wilson Sims taking over his place, and that might be the main difference here, as Joe Schooling goes into the final leg with a three-body length lead now to take with him. 2.46 seconds ahead of the Indonesians, and the Malaysians have even lost third place at the moment, with the ties creeping up on them. The ties have got Saritia Wong, their 200 middle distance freestyle specialist in the pool for them. Joe Schooling three gold medals at these games already seeking his fourth all three have been sea games record but it'll be very difficult to take down that 323 22 ahead of the indonesian who've got guntur pratama the 50 meter freestyle specialist in the pool joe schooling maintaining that lead thailand maintaining third spot ahead of the malaysians this is a shot from the malaysians daniel bagos in the pool already a winner tonight but he is in fourth position no one's going to stop singapore though it's joe versus the clock 321 that's another sea games record for joseph schooling another sea games record four gold medals four sea games record this is unforgettable for joe schooling and team singapore winners once again seven in a row now in the four by 100 meters freestyle on what has been a magnificent night in day three of competition most definitely of course joe schooling definitely uh, justifying as well why he's the only singaporean to have ever been granted three years of deferment from uh, national service as well and uh, Team Singapore stands happy at this point in time as they wait, of course, for Cambodia to finish in lane four. But Singapore will take home the gold. Joseph Schooling anchoring the 4 by 100 meters freestyle squad. But uh, a lot of credit here has got to go to their first leg swimmer. He doesn't get enough credit, Clemens Lim, but he's always in the relay squads and he's always delivered. And he did once again because he gave them the perfect start. He actually beat the SEA Games champion Fauzi Triadi in the first 100 meters of this race. So well done, Clement Lim. That was a superb start. And Danny Yo built it up. Darren Lim continued that lead. And Joe Schooling hung on to it in what has been a superb night. Four gold medals for Team Singapore in the pool tonight. The men's 4 by 100 meters freestyle the 100 meters butterfly goal for joe schooling and tao lee with her double in the 100 meters backstroke and 100 meters butterfly it is of course uh, definitely definitely a fantastic night for singapore as mark said of course uh but we also have you know two victory ceremonies that we might not have time of course to show you and that of course will be for the women's 800 meter freestyle uh, where Ku Chai Lin took it away for the gold. And uh, we probably will not have time as well to show you the victory ceremony for the men's one 4 by 100 meter freestyle relay as well.
So here we are at the end of the day, of course, at the Wuna Tegdi Stadium. And uh, we started off, of course, with the men's 400 meter freestyle. Uh, Daniel Bego, of course, did very, very well for that one in the women's 100 meter backstroke as well. Defending champion and reigning champion as well, Tao Li, with the goal, took that away. In the men's 100 meter backstroke, E. Gaday showed everyone why he is the king of backstroke. He won all the backstroke events in the previous games and in this one as well he held steady to that crown. In the women's 100 meter butterfly uh, it was Tao Li once again. No controversy as compared to the women's 100 meter backstroke. And in the women's 800 meter freestyle Ku Chai Lin and Team Singapore took it home for of course the 4x100 meter freestyle Joseph Schooling for the men's 100 meter butterfly. So there we have it, a bit of a recap of course of today's swimming events and uh, it's Divya Nair and Mark Richmond with you.